What is going on fellow Clashers? Yes, it is that time for the sneak peek with the new troop. You guys have been waiting for it. Many of you saw the new Dark Barracks and here it is. The Bowler is the brand new troop coming to Clash of Clans. Dark Elixir based. There he is. The first look at the Bowler holding that giant boulder. And yes, that's right. The tooltip down there maybe probably should have read the Boulder Bearing Brute boldly batters buildings by bouncing balls. But... There is so much more to this guy than just throwing a bunch of rocks. Now, if he just threw a boulder at a target, yeah, that would be easy enough. But no, it bounces. Yes, each shot from the boulder lands twice. And that is going to allow for a lot of different strategies, including funneling, precision strikes. And we are going to have to get into this and take a look at how this guy works. Because he's coming in at Town Hall 10 and could completely change up all sorts of different ground attacks as you've got a way to get into structures that are inside the first row of defenses or that first row of outside buildings or inside walls. So there he is and let's take a look at the bowler in action again at Town Hall 10 as we deploy him for the very first time. Now the bowler is going to be a unit that is easy to learn but difficult to master. Obviously there's several different tactical ways you can use him but whether you are trying to snipe off specific defensive structures or funnel your other troops in towards the center of a village, it will be important to know building hit points. In this example, the cannon was their target. The wizard tower was simply collateral damage. They are going to focus on that near building and once it's down, they will seek another target. So if you don't take that into account, you might be left with the structure up that you were specifically trying to target. And as you can see, that initial deployment makes a big difference. Those of you who stayed in geometry class, learned your angles, will see that you can sometimes target the same structure from different angles. I definitely hear the term surgical bowlers in Clash of Clans future. Now the bowler doesn't have a great deal of hit points, but seems to put out quite a bit of damage and can lob that second bounce of the boulder pretty far across the battlefield. But again, it comes down to what is in the way. And with eight housing space for each one of these guys, he's not somebody that you're going to be able to just spam. But with proper use and deployment, you can definitely end up with more strikes and fewer gutter balls. So let's take another look at the use and deployment of the bowler here at the top of the village. You'll notice by dropping him at the very top, they will be able to take out that cannon out of range of any other defenses. But here is where the hit point issue comes into play. As the laboratory goes down, the cannon is still up and the bowlers move on to another outside structure. So you've either got to deploy more bowlers right there or use rage or Think about angles once again. Drop a bowler from a different angle. He will have a new target, but the collateral damage will be the same. And there it is. The cannon goes down and the bowlers move forward after the next closest structure. Now bouncing forward and damaging the mortar three structures deep. So let's take another look at the bowler, this time against the donut base. And here we'll be using the bowler in a little bit of funneling. The golems, the jump spells on the outside, the bowlers right over the jump spells, and they go to work on those structures. And once again, with the donut base, funneling is key. You can see protected by the golems, the bowlers are doing a great job of getting structure after structure down around the edges, the left and the right, letting the rest of the troops go down the center. The heroes, the wall breakers have broken that wall open. Here come the new and improved Valkyries with a rage spell and another jump spell. Just about every major unit Heads in the center, they go right after the core. Come on, come on, Grand Warden. Come on, Archer Queen. No, no, right. Come on, yes, over here. Come on back, there we go. All right, back over the jump spell. We lost the king, but we've got enough units down the middle into the heart of this base that the town hall is history early, despite the fact that there are level four Inferno Towers, level nine mortars in there. We are going to take that town hall down, 44% damage, and the bowlers doing a great job of funneling those troops in towards the center. And with just a little bit of protection from those golems, they got in there, got the job done. But I'm only scratching the surface. I cannot wait to see how you war players, you serious farmers, decide to use this unit. I have a feeling there are way more strategies, way more different angles of attack, or so to speak, that the bowler can be utilized in. And I cannot wait to see your guys' ideas. Let me know down below if you've got an idea off the top of your head for dropping the bowler, how to get a strike. In the meantime, get ready for the new Clash of Clans update. It is just about upon us. 
Thank you guys, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Don't forget to check out my other episodes. Stay subscribed for the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Gallygon, that really bowled me over. I'm rolling on the floor.